You pot-bellied girl, come to this house right now. Rita, why are you texting me so early in the morning? And please, stop calling me like that. You're overreacting about the morning sickness, saying you might end up in the hospital. Your requests are too tough. I couldn't believe my ears when you asked me to weed your garden in the blazing sun last week. No one would ask others for such favors on a hot summer day, especially when that person is pregnant. Pregnancy is not a disease. When I was pregnant, I worked a lot harder. I've heard that story so many times. Stop yammering and just get over here. Our relatives will be here by noon. What? It's been a while since we've all gotten together, so I'm going to throw a big party. I want at least 10 dishes to serve 40 people. Wait a minute. There will be 20 kids. If you don't take good care of them, I'll have my son divorce you. What are you talking about? It'll be good practice for child rearing, right? The beach is close by, so you can all go swimming together. Let me get something straight. My husband told you that I wouldn't be able to make it to today's gathering a week ago. Remember? Yes, Simon told me so before leaving on a business trip. Then why are you asking me to come? I've told you many times that pregnancy isn't a disease. A daughter-in-law's duty is to show hospitality to her husband's relatives. It's ridiculous of you trying to skip this family gathering. I almost went into labor very early and almost had a miscarriage. You know that too. So? Huh? Pregnancy is not a disease. Oh no. Simon told me that you understood my situation and agreed. I was just pretending to be an understanding mother. Once Simon goes on his business trip, it'll be easy for me to reach you. You've always been like that, acting kind in front of Simon. Why are you acting to be someone you're not? I want my own son to have a good impression of me. But I don't care what you think of me. If I told Simon about your true self, it would be the end of you. You don't have that kind of guts, you coward. And yet, you're so good at fooling men. What do you mean? You're so good at it, you even managed to get pregnant. I wonder what kind of seduction skills you have. Enough of that. You're making fun of Simon, too. We're in love with each other. You can say whatever you like, but you can't fool me. You're so cruel. I've tried to get along with you, but I've reached my limit. I'll discuss the matter with Simon. He won't believe you. I'm his biological mother. He will listen to me. Go ahead and try, but be prepared. I won't divorce him, by the way. I'll make sure he divorces you. But one more thing. Did you forget that it was my husband who funded your family's factory? That's... He's too good-natured to not even charge them interest. Your husband offered us an interest-free loan for an indefinite period of time. I'll tell my husband. I'll tell him that your parents got him to support them financially by faking those tears. Please, don't do that. Then what's the smart thing for you to do? I'll be there in a few minutes. You should have said so from the beginning. Well, I'm going to go for a little walk to the beach. You must get everything ready before everyone arrives. My name is Jess, and I'm a 30-year-old pregnant woman about to go into my last month of pregnancy. As you can see, my relationship with my mother-in-law is the worst. Because I got pregnant before marriage, my mother-in-law seems to think that her son is being forced to marry me. This pregnancy was something unexpected, but my husband and I love each other, and we were talking about getting married even before I got pregnant. I've become the mother of my baby, and so I thought I may be able to get along with my mother-in-law, since she is the mother who brought up my beloved husband. 
I tried helping her when needed, hoping someday she could accept me as her daughter-in-law. But after this incident, I realized how naive my thinking was. My mother-in-law was far more insane than I could ever imagine. Rita, where are you? We're all waiting for you on the beach. Don't you dare disturb me. As soon as I got to the beach, you disappeared. And now I'm in trouble. Come quickly. Whatever. You're the one who brought all the kids here. I was against it since it's so hot today. Swimming is the way to cool off in this heat. All the kids wanted to come. There are three more adults coming, right? I've been stopping them from going into the water, but they're getting impatient. When are the others coming? They're not coming. What? I told them I'd take care of them. My reputation's about to explode. <laughs> what were you thinking? What if something happens to them? That's why you're here. What? I've got some errands to run. Take good care of those kids. Don't let them out of your sight. You want me to look after 20 kids at the beach alone? By myself? I'm in the last month of pregnancy. Tell everyone that I was taking care of them. When you get home, you must explain to them how hardworking I was. I don't care about your reputation. It'll be too late if something happens. What if someone drowns? You can't even babysit kids? Yet, how can you even try to have a baby with my son? Poor Simon. That's not the point. Just get to work. I don't want the kids getting hurt and having people blaming me for it. I can't do it alone. I can't move fast, especially in the sand having a big belly. And it's getting so hot. I'm dizzy. I hope one of the kids gets hurt because of you. Excuse me? It'll be your responsibility. I'm going to tell everyone that you insisted on watching them alone, even though I opposed it. That's the plot. Then, Simon will surely want to divorce you. Don't bring the kids into this just to harass me. Why are you so mad? <laughs> I can't believe you would say such things, even if it was a joke. Oh, I'm serious. You're a mother too, aren't you? You raised Simon. How can you say such a terrible thing? Simon was a smart boy. But kids these days are so bratty. They're all sweet and honest. Oh, that guy is so handsome. Nice muscles. What the hell are you doing? Watching a handsome guy. I don't get you anymore, and it's so hot. Ugh, my belly hurts. Don't lie to me about having labor pains again. No, something's wrong. You're overreacting. You just probably ate too much. Well, good luck with babysitting. Hey, Jess, where the hell are you? The kids are nowhere to be seen. Mom, Jess just passed away. I can't believe you're pretending to me, Simon. Stop joking around. It's really me, your son, Simon. Simon's on a business trip, right? Stop lying. The meetings ended earlier than planned, so I came home. Jess wasn't there, so just as I was about to call her, I got a call from the hospital. Wait, so you're really Simon? I've been telling you so. 
Anyway, explain what's going on. I made it clear that Jess wouldn't be going to the gathering since she's in the last month of her pregnancy. Oh, but I didn't know she was on her last month. And Jess said it herself that she could be here. And? She just sat there. I didn't make her do anything. And? When I told her I was going to the beach with the kids, she insisted on accompanying me. And before I knew it, she was gone. I guess she went to the hospital. And? It's such a sad accident to lose her. I can't believe it. But Simon, this is your chance. You're no longer forced to marry her. You've just been seduced. You'll find a better woman, suited to be your wife. You should look for a rich girl next time. You're trash. What? I am embarrassed to have you as my mother. The thought of having half your blood in my veins make me want to puke. How dare you say such things to me? You're certainly not Simon. That boy would never say such awful things to me. You know nothing about me. You never really cared about me. The only thing you care about is yourself. Oh, come on. Don't be so cynical. I'm sick and tired of you being so vain and selfish. I felt like you were using me as your ATM after I started working, but I didn't say anything until now. I never meant to make you feel like that. As long as I sent you money, you wouldn't bother me, so I let my guard down. I had no idea that Jess was being treated so badly by you. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't lie to me. Jess kept quiet and endured so as not to worry me. Even when I asked her if you had done something to her, she just laughed and said she was fine. I failed her as a husband. I have no idea what you're talking about. It's just a misunderstanding. I saw your texts. You knew she was in the last month of pregnancy and still you forced her to do your bidding, didn't you? You can't lie anymore. Did you see the actual text history? The actual texts were erased. Then you have no proof. Without proof, it's just a theory. Plus, you can't rely on the witness of drunken adults and kids. But Jess took screenshots of the whole conversation between you and her. What? And the kids said your actions were weird. What would the kids know? Don't make fun of them. Kids are sensitive. You're just gonna believe what the kids tell you? Their words hold no water. Then how about a video? Huh? The kid with the phone took a video of you where you harassed and forced Jess to do all the kitchen work. No way! On the outside, you played the kind mother-in-law, but behind the scenes, you're picking on your pregnant daughter-in-law with a rolling pin in your hand. What's the fun in that? You've got to be kidding me. But even if you show proof now... When Jess collapsed, the kids called the adults with their phone. They were able to call an ambulance right away. They're still all here at the hospital worrying about her. Now? Jess is alive. I wanted to see your reaction, so I lied to you. I'm surprised you suggested I remarry a rich woman as soon as you heard she had passed away. So you've declared yourself someone who only wants money. That's terrible. How could you trick your parents? 
You're not my family anymore. My family is just in my baby. I won't allow anyone to hurt them. Wait! That whole thing was just a form of communication. I was just trying to teach her some things. Don't you ever show your face to us again. I can't have that. What about the money? My allowance? I don't care. And I'm filing a damage report on you this time. What? You should get arrested right now. Pay for your crimes. Why? Abandonment of children by a responsible person is a crime. Also, pregnant women ought to be protected. But you left them all out in the heat of the sun at the beach, ignoring her calls for help. That's a crime. Don't be so overdramatic. Threats are a crime too, by the way. Wait a minute. What? Jess's parents owe me a favor. That makes us even. It was Dad who financed Jess's family's factory. That money will be repaid soon. His money is my money. Then I have the right to charge them interest. You have no right to say anything about that matter. You'll no longer be his wife. What do you mean? Dad says he's getting a divorce. No! He's fed up with you. He knows about your boyfriends. Oh no! Taylor, the cafe owner. Aaron, the part time worker at the supermarket. Ben, the man you met at the gym. Today, you left Jess and the kids to make out with the man you met at the gym. Am I wrong? How do you know that? You've been spending a lot of money lately, so Dad hired someone to check what you've been up to. He's gonna charge you alimony. Oh no! I couldn't help it! His dark skin and abs are so sexy. That's gross. It's like a one summer fling. Why don't you wait until you're single? In any case, it's just too embarrassing to have such a woman in our family. Divorce at my age? I can't live by myself. You're going to be cut off by all our relatives, too. But I'd have the police arrest you first. Wait! I'll apologize to Jess. No need. Please! One word of apology and she'll forgive me. You're making me sick. I'm sure this situation can be changed. I'll protect Jess this time. Don't ever get involved with our family again. I'm blocking you now. Hi, this is Jess. I was rushed to the hospital for a heat stroke. But thanks to the kids, both me and my child survived. I'm so relieved. Simon told me what happened after I recovered. But to be honest, I don't feel sorry for her at all. He filed a damage report as he declared. And my mother in law was arrested. My father in law also filed for divorce as he declared and demanded alimony. He didn't even share any of his properties. Cut off from all her relatives, my mother in law lost everything. I heard she proposed marriage to one of her boyfriends, but I don't think anyone would want to marry such a woman like her. By the way, My father in law got into hiking and is enjoying his life vigorously. As for me, I gave birth to a healthy baby boy and am now enjoying taking care of him with my husband. <laughs>